So I'll go ahead and walk you inside this house where we found what is potentially a health hazard for the customer. And the thing is, is there are health hazards that can exist in your home and you as a homeowner have no idea about them. One of the ones that plumbers and HVAC contractors as well as home inspectors are trying to look for is condensation lines that don't trunk outside. In this house, there's a water heater that was improperly installed and they didn't install a line for the condensation to go outside. Let's go take a look at it. So as we walk in here, we see that the crawl space has been moisture proofed, which is awesome, but we start seeing water. And you ask yourself, where did the water come from? And as you come on over here, you see that as we round the corner, they have a dehumidifier that is out of service. This one is broken and it's been replaced with this one. So they knew humidity was a problem in here, but they didn't know where it was coming from. So now let's go look at the water heater. So as we sit over here, we see the water heater and we see this puddle and this puddle has things growing in it. It's cloudy, it's dirty, it's got something in it. But if we look on this water heater, there's a condensate line right here that never got hooked up. And that is where the water is coming from. Now there's a whole bunch of things that can go wrong because you've got water in this confined space. Aside from sickness, like Legionella or other types of bacterial infections that can make people really sick, we also have damage to the infrastructure of the house. So let's take a look at what this moisture in this enclosed space is doing to this person's house. So if you're gonna be working in a confined space that's been waterproofed and has condensation pools that have been standing for months on end with bacteria and God knows what else growing in it, should you be wearing some sort of protective equipment like a mask or something? Yes. Have I ever been known at making good decisions about my health? No. So here we go. So some of the connections for the plumbing are corroding faster than what they should. This house is relatively new and we have a lot of oxidation on these lines. Now this is the line set for the HVAC system and here on the oil line you can see oxidation is happening faster than what we would expect. Now this whole gas connection was just made last year and you can see that these iron pipes are corroding much faster than we would think and their pressure regulator has a lot of corrosion on it. It still works, it's going to last for years, but it shouldn't be oxidizing this fast. So we talked a lot about corrosion working on some of the metal that's in here and shortening its lifespan which that's gonna take years to happen. But these little thin straps, they corrode like nobody's business and that's what's holding up the sewer line. These will be the first to go. And if you take a look at them, this one and that one are really, really corroded. And that means they're weaker than what they're supposed to be. Now, while we're down here, we happen to notice a couple of other things. This is the track pipe for the gas line and it is not supposed to be hung with metal brackets. This track pipe over here, whoever ran it, they used plastic clips, just like they were supposed to. So it's amazing the problems that you'll find in a house when you actually start looking, like this improper install of the water heater leading to potential health problems or the improper installation of a gas line. You just have to look for it. It's generally accepted as good advice to once a year have somebody from the trades come out, take a look at your HVAC system, your plumbing system, service your tankless water heater, Make sure everything is up to snuff and you don't have little silent problems building that are going to form up to be bigger issues that are going to bite you in the butt later. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. The best way to support the channel is to one, subscribe, two, click the little bell icon so you get notified when there's a new video out, three, head over to wellandsepticlife.com and buy some merch or some bio one for your septic tank. Y'all have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll see you next time.